Okay, um, a 10 megahertz carrier is um, frequency modulated by a sinusoidal signal of 5 kilohertz. I'm sorry, this is supposed to be K frequency such that the maximum frequency deviation deviation of the FM wave is 500 kilohertz. Fine. The approximate band of frequencies occupied by the FM waveform. Now, um, let's um, approximate band of frequencies. Now, so, so, so here, you know, they're not asking us just one number. So this is, it's going to be like a range. So that's why it's, it's a good idea to, to look at the answers as well. Now let's go to the handbook and look at the section for frequency modulation. And if you take a look here, this doesn't really mean, mean much to me, actually. You know what I mean? I'm just looking at it. And I'm like, okay, what is this? Like, how do we do this? And this is actually the um, the, the Carson's approximation. Now, they, they could have just put that there, but I don't know why they're trying to be all technical here but this is confusing to me under frequency modulation but um, what they want to tell you though is that the bandwidth using Carson's approximation so that thing that whole thing is just translated into bandwidth is equal to 2 times Delta F Delta F is your frequency deviation plus your maximum frequency so all of this stuff is actually translated into that so don't freak out uh, when you see this. All of this thing is actually just means this. So this is a Carson approximation. Because when I when I first looked at it, I was like, where does this come from? But you know, we learned this in class. We learned this in class, and that's exactly what it is. So now to calculate the bandwidth for frequency um, modulation signals, we're just adding the uh, frequency deviation. In this case, the frequency deviation is uh, 500k plus your so it doesn't hurt to actually memorize this okay just in case plus 500k I mean plus um, your maximum frequency in this case is 5k so we have to calculate the bandwidth first first and then you know add or subtract the uh, the carrier frequency to get the approximate band of frequencies basically so now the bandwidth is 1010 um, 1010 now the question here is the band of frequencies now to get that uh, we have to um, add the uh, add or subtract subtract the uh, frequency center the you know the center frequency or the carrier frequency or however they call it so now you know if you add um, that to that difference Delta F minus M that will give you minus FM that will give you the uh, you know the band of frequencies because it's on both sides so the center frequency here the carrier frequency is 10 megahertz that's given out there that's the carrier frequency actually minus your frequency deviation minus your maximum frequency that's one side so it ranges from that side the left side to the right side basically you know what I mean so you have 10 megahertz plus 5 kilohertz plus now pay attention to the megahertz that's 10 to the power 6 so you don't don't just add 10 plus 500 and you know you'll make a mistake there so pay attention to the units down there and so if you plug this to the calculator then we have that the band of frequencies occupied is centered around the carrier frequency and so ranges between 9495 kilohertz to um, 10505 kilohertz now if you, if we notice here that the, the FM signal in this particular example is wide band why it's it because sometimes they can ask you if if if, if um the signal is wide band or narrow band and the way you 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 know that is um just compare the frequency deviation to the uh, maximum frequency 